And developing this morning, the family of a man killed while trying to make a food delivery is now speaking out. Yeah, he was ambushed and shot in his car in Chicago's Inglewood neighborhood. NBC 5's Lisa Chafaria joins us now live from the Control Center. Lisa, this is such a tragedy. What is the son saying about his father? Well, Everett and Michelle, he says his father was a hardworking man who spent six days a week at the Chinese restaurant he managed. The family wants police to catch his killer. Last night, RV Wynn spoke to his heartbroken son. Now, the son identified the man as 53-year-old Jing Lang. On Monday night, he was shot multiple times in the chest. He was in his car making a food delivery. He crashed on Sangamon near 57th Street in Chicago's Inglewood neighborhood. He was rushed to the University of Chicago Medical Center, where he later died. Lay's son, who is too fearful to show his face on camera, says his father was not only the restaurant manager, he was also a chef. Unfortunately, we were um, short on staff that day and we didn't have any delivery person available. So my dad decided to uh, make the delivery himself. It was a real shame that um, he worked so hard to support his family all this time, but didn't get to make it to retirement and enjoy life so difficult for this family. This shooting comes as Chicago police issued a community alert for food delivery drivers. Three of them were held at gunpoint just last week in the West Loop. Community activists plan to speak publicly about this and announce a reward in this case. They're expected to make that announcement in Chinatown at noon today. Michelle? Lisa, thank you so much.